Welcome back to another Whatever Wednesday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, me, Mars. And Shanti. And we're getting to the next special today, which is Jackfruit Tacos. Uh, Chantal has actually made this before on her personal channel. Yep. So if you see this uploaded and you want to make them really quickly before we do, you can go do that and eat them with us. But if not, we're going to kind of do a rundown. Yeah. I've had to do them again right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. I made this about a year ago. I was watching the video. I don't know if it's really easy to follow. It's like when I make videos now, I like to do it on the white table and just like show all the ingredients and like make it very simple to follow. Yeah. But I this one I did like a walkthrough cooking tutorial. I feel like it's confusing, but hopefully you guys can follow along. Anyways, should we get started? Do yeah. we uh, have any announcements to make? Oh, before we begin, I just want to let you guys know for the rest of the month of March. Mm -hmm. We will not have any foodie Fridays because I just got back from Australia and in two weeks I'm about to leave for another two weeks to go to um, Ultra Music Festival in Miami and then I'm going to San Antonio, Texas to do some stuff with the Final Four. So it's going to be like three Mondays in a row that I'll be gone. Yeah. So we got to get ahead on that. Obviously the Monday videos are our most important videos. Right. And then Wednesday I feel like second most, second most important just because that's where <laughs> we started. So um uh, we don't want to disappoint you guys, so we want to let you know that the Foodie Fridays are just going to be on a hiatus for this month. And yeah. we, we don't, we love to do them, obviously, but if something's got to give, it's going to be the Fridays. Right. And not only do we have to get ahead on our mukbangs, but you also have to get on hit on your My Facebook videos yeah. and personal channel. Me so. and Max uh, need to get ahead on Facebook, which we're like, not only are we caught up, we have like nothing. Like, we have to think of ideas. <laughs> just like the hardest part, let alone like film them and edit them. And then my personal channel, I have to get ahead. Like, it's a lot. So, yeah, so just hopefully bear with you guys us. can understand. But we're gonna do um, a topic today. Mm -hmm. Since Foodie Fridays, we do topics. So we're gonna kind of put topics within these randomly. So make sure if you have any ideas or anything you want us to talk about, leave it in the comments below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, by hitting the red button down below. Uh -huh. We post on Mondays and Wednesdays. And sometimes we just post on Fridays. But. Yeah, Fridays uh, once our lives slow down a little bit. And uh, we always mukbang, have a fun chit chat, and show you recipes. Yeah, and if you are a returning subscriber, we love you guys so much. Welcome back. We have the best subscribers. We really do. All right, should we get into the cooking? I'm just um, nervous because I see this pan is smoking. Yeah, she ready. She's ready. Our cat is just playing in the background, you know what's new. Okay, so first, um, I also want to preface this. I have never yeah. tried jackfruit. I have never tried jackfruit in any form. Well, okay, I guess I'll give you guys a little um, backstory. So this is the jackfruit I'm going to be using. It's jackfruit in a can. Trader Joe's sells this, and I've also seen it at a couple Asian markets. Um, it's just jackfruit in like a brine. You don't want to make sure it's not jackfruit like in a syrup. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, like yams. Right, like yams and syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Jackfruit is this huge spiky veg fruit. It's fruit. And it tastes like juicy fruit bubblegum when it's like fresh. But this, it's been like sitting in like water and salt and it is pretty like unflavorful, but it resembles like the texture of like shredded meat. Cause I'll show you guys what we, it looks like. We also have a fun ASMR video where Chantal rips apart a giant jackfruit. It's like bigger than her head. Yeah. So check that out if you want to see something cool. Good memory. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, what is that alien? Yeah. It's so. It looks like a giant dinosaur egg or something yeah. like that. Okay. So first, this is one half of a white or yellow onion diced up. I'm gonna add this to our little skillet. Uh, oh, I turned it down. Oops. <laughs> I was like, where's the bird? Where's the sizzle? The did sizzle's you, the best did part. You use my... We're just gonna let this onion sweat for a couple minutes. Oh. Nice workout of the day. <laughs> she's sweaty? I think she's sweaty. Nice. Woo. Looks a little glistening. And I didn't add any oil to this, you guys. I talk about this in my uh, original jackfruit video. Um, you don't really need it. If your onions are sticking, you can just add in a splash of water or broth, like a little tablespoon. Or you can just go get yourself one of these nice non-stick pans. Link in the description box down below. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna add in the whole can. This is one pound of jackfruit. Oh yeah. That's only a pound? Yeah. Is she dense? Guess so. <laughs> and um... Oh god, look how weird it is. Now we're gonna give this a stir. Are you... So uh, intrigued by this? Yeah, there's like holes in it. Yeah. Those are the seeds? 
Yeah, so like when you use when you eat it like a fruit, the seeds are in little pockets, like pods. Mm -hmm. When you eat the pods that's around the seed. Weird. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try an actual like jackfruit for itself. It's really good. We're gonna add the spices. I hope you guys can hear us over the simmering. <sighs> I always feel bad when like we're cooking and it's so loud. Oh, and we're trying to talk, you know? Yeah. Okay, so I wrote down my ingredients because it's been so long since I made this video. You ever watch your old videos and you just cringe the entire time? Oh my time? god, yes. All of the first ones. I was just like, Ugh. I was trying to make my editing like quick, where yeah. I cut it too quick, so it was like, <laughs> <laughs> all of my first videos, I'm like, whoa, what is happening? Mind if I use my fingers? Yeah, I don't care. If you were making this for a party, I would recommend not doing that. Um, but yeah, same. I watch my old videos and I'm like, who is that? Yeah. About me. You know, people still ask me about my menstrual cup video, and I'm like, maybe I should just remake a whole new one. I know. Of those because I want to remake all my old crappy videos. So I added. Oh, Ooh. shit. Okay, okay. That was a good save. <laughs> so that was two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. This is one tablespoon of chili powder. I'm trying to do this quick before it burns. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Do you want to mix stuff around? Yeah, you want to mix? I need a spatula. There you go. I'm gonna add this in. Half of a tablespoon of smoked paprika. This is one of my favorite spices. Paprika? Smoked paprika. Smoky. We're gonna add a cup of veggie broth to this later, but let's just add in a splash. Just to get the spices from burning. This is the secret ingredient. It is called liquid smoke. From um, one of our first ever videos. Yeah, we used this in our uh, eggplant bacon video. Yeah. And this stuff is pretty potent. You really need only like a half te a teaspoon. And next, one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna be using tamari. One and a half. It smells so good. So this is a half. This is, smells like barbecue. Yeah. This is a one. Three tablespoons. Ooh. What? Got a little, oh. little chunk. I know. I should really Onion chunk my phone. <laughs> Three tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm gonna be using this maple syrup agave blend. I have a funny story about maple syrup. I still can't even open my maple syrup. Max got me this maple syrup from Canada. It's like supposed to be really nice. One. Sorry, I'm adding three of these. Go ahead. No, I just three. literally can't open it. It's like sealed shut. I don't know what to do. Three. Like the sugar in it. Yeah, it's all, all like crystallized. Yeah. Um, we've been watching Dirty Money on Netflix. Terrible. Shoot, I forgot to add in the garlic. Well, we're gonna do it now. Do it. Um, but yeah, they have one on maple syrup on uh, Dirty Money. Really? Yeah, because apparently like uh, the Canadian, I'm not sure if it's like a local or state government, call us something about this. I didn't actually watch this episode, um, but we were eating pancakes yesterday and that's what made them think about it. And uh, the government like, controls, um, the syrup? They all maple syrup, yeah, and so it's like, that's like super high. Is it really hard to get maple syrup or something? No, I don't know, they just did that for some reason. I don't really know why. I could be telling this totally wrong, but I'm just basing this off of what Kali Wally told me. That was like a cup of broth, right? Okay, next we added a cup of broth and we're gonna cover it and let it simmer for 20 minutes. And um, we're just gonna do this off camera so that we can like eat and talk at the same time. Yeah. It smells really good. It smells so good, it smells like barbecue. And what's gonna happen is, uh, as it's simmering, the jackfruit is gonna start to like cook down to get Sorry. mushy. And so you have to just like mash it with a back of a spoon and it'll get all nice and like shredded. So we'll be back in about 20, 15 minutes. So it's been, what would you say, like five minutes? Yeah, not too long. Hasn't been too long. Um, as you can see, it's starting to cook Ooh. nicely. It smells so good you guys I know, oh my really god does. it's really strong so what I'm gonna do now is I don't know if you guys can really see over all the steam nice it helped <laughs> but, for like one second yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you take the end of your spatula here and just start like breaking the jackfruit pieces apart and they become nice and shredded um, yeah Still needs about 10 minutes to cook, but yeah, you just want to break them into little chunks. 
All right, so I broke them apart a little bit. I'm gonna cover it. Maybe turn down the heat a little bit. This is very hot. And we'll be back in maybe like 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 20, 15-ish minutes. And as you can see, it looks a whole lot meatier. meatier. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say more shredded. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you just have to keep on kind of working it. Um, it looks like pulled pork. Yeah, or like so shredded chicken blowing. or something. And you know what I love about, sorry to interrupt you, okay. cooking not meat, what? is I'm never worried if it's like cooked all the way. Cooked all the way. I think that's like a huge fear of mine that I have. Yeah. Just giving myself like food poisoning. <laughs> Valid uh, fear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just about done. I have um, some soft shell corn tortillas here that I heated up in the microwave. Mm -hmm. I also uh, bought some hard shell ones for funsies. Yeah, because b -Maz loves the hard shell. And pro tip, you can put them in a little bowl with a little lid on and they stay oh. nice and warm <laughs> and steamy. <laughs> with a lid at the top. Got a little Well, that's so smart. Yeah, now they're nice and warm. These are so cute, they're so tiny. I know, we got little baby ones. <laughs> and... Um, off camera, I also made some coleslaw. This uh, recipe is in the jackfruit video. Um, it's basically like cashew cream sauce, which is Ooh. garlic, lemon, cashews, um, non-dairy milk blended up. And if you don't have like cashews, or you don't feel like making that, you can just use cashew butter. It looks works. so um, good. Yeah, and then I added some uh, salt and pepper and white vinegar. And this is just a pre-bag mix of coleslaw to make it easy. This is just reminding me of like barbecue vibes. Yeah, it is. It's, it's kind of like barbecue tacos mm -hmm. ish. So we just gonna dig in. So we got some jackfruit mix on the bottom, and we're gonna spoon on. Oops! <laughs> I just threw a carrot at you. The coleslaw, and I also put in half of a red onion chopped, or no, like a quarter of a cup. Sorry. Half. In the coleslaw? Yep. Mm. Mm. And to garnish, I chopped up some green onions. The problem with tacos is, I always try to put way too much on. Do you want some green onions? Yes, please. Yeah, I know what you mean. My taco's overflowing. Look how pretty. Aw, so cute. <laughs> so here's a beautiful taco platter. You ready for a bite? I hope these are good. Cheers. Cheers. Look how fat my taco is because I overstuffed it. Mine's really fat too. <laughs> Mmm. Oh. Fun. I love the fresh coleslaw. It would be nice to have more sauce. Mm hmm I did bring over a taco sauce. Nice. Because we wanted some like more flavor, more hot sauce. Mm. I just love taco sauce. I always steal the packets from Taco Bell. Yeah. Mmm. How is it? So good. Does the jackfruit taste weird? No. I actually, I don't feel like, I feel like it tastes like meat. Really? Mm-hmm. Like a pulled pork. I think I've made these before, but added more spice. I think more spice would have been nice. Mm. Like some like cayenne or something. Mm. If you're a spice addict like us, let's add more spice. Oh, well. Messy. Mmm. I think chocolates are supposed to not be messy, but I somehow make a mess. Before I stuff my face again, that was so good. Really? Mm-hmm. Are you just saying that because the camera's on? No, I like love, it's it's my favorite type of food, like the cold, crisp, cold and like and hot. hot. Yeah. I know, we love that. It really just gets me going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Today's topic? Today's topic. <clears throat> This is from Lex Brand. My Instagram handle is AlexisBrand20. I followed you guys, and a topic I thought would be interesting is advice on how to pick a career. That, my friend, is a broad, big old topic. It was a broad topic. It's also something that I've struggled with so much. Yeah. Like, am I the right person to ask this question? I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, I thought it, we, we started talking about it a little bit. Mm hmm. And I thought the conversation that came from this question was interesting and that's like it's kind of messed up 
the way that the school system is right now. They're just like, all right, <clears throat> you got to take math, science, history, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't teach you to like figure out what you love and like what you want to do. Or really prepare you. Yeah. Yeah, I remember my senior year and I had danced my whole life. So I was just kind of like, well, I'm not going to stop dancing now. Like, I don't know what the hell else I would do. Mm -hmm. But when I was a graduating senior, I was either going to do art or dance. I applied to some art schools. And, but I remember thinking like, how come nobody's telling me like what I should do or like what I'm going to be good at? Like, I have no idea. Yeah. I always knew I wanted to dance. Yeah. But people would make fun of me all the time and be like, you, that's not a real, like, what do you really want to do? Like, what's your, or people be like, what's your backup plan? And or I'm like, like family members that are like, so how can you make money off that? Like, how yeah. are you going to make that into a career? That's not going to work. And it's, it's pity <laughs> because it's kind of like, you know, shooting down someone's dream. But also like, luckily I had a... A strong enough head or I guess I was stubborn enough to not listen to everybody and just kind of go for it because if I did listen to those people I would just be like what would I be doing right now and I feel like I know so many people who tell me like oh you're so lucky that you found something you love because when I graduated I just went home and like lived with my parents for a year and I still didn't know what I wanted to do even after spending so much money on college right and that's shitty because college is what you're supposed to be like figuring out well, you're supposed to already know what you want to do because you're going to spend like 40 grand on it. It's just crazy. This is, I actually like think about this a lot. It's crazy because when you're a high schooler, you have to, exactly what you said, decide what college you're going to go to, decide your career. I feel like you are so not prepared for that at that age. Like no. what I wish I did is just like take a year off and like really, uh, Think about it. Think about what I like actually want to do instead of they just like rush you into it. Like mm -hmm. you're a graduating Oops. senior and then you have to pick a college and you have to decide right then there what you can do for the rest of your life. Yeah. Max it's actually so stressful. Max actually took a year off. Yeah. After sophomore that. year because he was like, what am I even doing? Yeah. And same with a lot I think of more kids should. I guess like as a society, we frown upon people like wanting to take time off or not going to college. It's like, oh, mm. what are you doing with your life if you don't go to college? But nowadays college is so expensive. It's like, yeah, take some years off. Really figure it out. Really think and about it. on your major. Yeah. Before you're going to be paying student loans for the rest of your, your life. life. But I think that's a big problem is people like rush and then they hit their in their 30s and they're like, what am I doing? I hate my job. I hate my life. And it's like, well, maybe if you just took one or two years in your 20s to figure it out. Not even, yeah. You, could have just, like, you have to do what you're passionate about and what you love doing because you're going to have your whole life to work. Yeah. If it's something that you love, like it's not gonna really feel like work. If it's something that you hate, you're gonna be miserable in your yeah. life, you know? I remember being a high schooler feeling so lost and like none of my classes prepared me for, I mean, I guess they prepared me to like write essays. I actually feel like my high school classes were harder than Point Park, mm. just like the workload, but they didn't prepare me to really like think about what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my life. Yeah. And also the other thing, like taxes or I was just gonna say like that. that. Why don't they teach you how to do taxes? Yeah. Or like write a check. Or so they want you to go to a tax like person. Yeah. And pay them. I just thought that that's so funny. Like something you actually need to do. Yeah. I don't. It's it's all backwards. But I just feel like you got to find something you love. And if you feel like you don't love anything, like some people have said this before, like, well, I'm, I don't love anything. Then I feel like you're not really exploring yourself you know there there has to be something you love or something you hate and you can't just live life like you know a flat line it's not how it works so if there's not something that you love that is like an immediate answer to a career do you know what i mean like dance okay i'll become a dancer i like cooking okay i'll become a chef like if if it's not that blatantly ob obvious you can just think like okay what do i like doing all right, I like playing video games. Would you be interested in making video games? Would you be interested in selling video games? Would you be interested in drawing the artwork for video games? Like, would you want to program them? Would you want to, like, if this is something you love, figure out ways to- Figure, there's a hundred ways you can connect a career into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like some people are like, oh, if I like video games, I want to be a professional video game player. It's like, okay, well, that's not the only career path you have. So don't ever feel stuck to Mm -hmm. Like even as dancers, like we're not gonna dance for the rest of our life. When I uh, was looking at colleges, I literally applied to I think like seven dance colleges and I applied to a couple art schools. Mm -hmm. And I was so lost, I had no idea how to make a decision. I've, I've never been good at decision making in general. So 
I literally just picked the school that gave me the most money. I was like, boom, decision done. Like I couldn't, mm -hmm. I couldn't make a decision. Like I didn't know what state I wanted to live in. Um, I really wanted to be in New York City, but um, I didn't get into the uh, academic. Like I got into the dance side, but I didn't get into the academic portion of the school I wanted to go to. I remember being um, a junior in high school, and for dance, you have to start auditioning like your senior year of high school. You have to like really know that this is what you want to do. Oh, like in like October. Yeah. Like they start early. And so my junior to senior year, I was at the Joffrey Ballet. That was the first time I ever went to a summer camp outside of like my small town. And I remember just asking people what schools are good and writing down a huge list because I had never even heard of colleges before I came to, went to Joffrey Ballet. And then I just researched the shit out of them, picked 10 of them and applied. And how I picked my school was um, how I felt while I was there. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Yeah, like I liked the facilities and I felt like I was like really on my game there. Like mm -hmm. I had a really good audition and it was clean. I like the city. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I had auditioned like all over. I had no idea what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go. It just kind of like, luckily Point Park was one of the first schools that I auditioned for and I loved it. And the other, I went to like three others after that, even though I applied to eight schools because once I got into Point Park, I was like, F the other ones, I just want to go there. Nice. I applied to so many schools, had no idea where I wanted to go. And then when it came down to it, I couldn't make a decision. I was like, I'll just go here because they gave me the most scholarship. Yeah. That's actually not a bad way to do it too though. Like, just college, very cut and yeah, dry. Because college is so expensive. I think also, just when picking a career, figure out like what you want to do, what your passions are, just think about like, are you good working with people? Like, are you, do you like helping people? Mm -hmm. Um, or would you rather like not talk to anybody and sit in a cubicle or like, yeah. do, you, do you, yeah, you are can you make, active? Like, do you want to be doing something on your feet? Like, that's actually you, really smart. Are you going to be happy sitting at a desk? Like you have to really think about these things. Like, do you want to work mm -hmm. a nine to five or do you want to have like flexible hours? Yeah. That's um, a really good idea. If you make a list of things of that you want, things that you want and things that you don't want, it could help like narrow down what kind of careers yeah. you could have. Just like thinking about your personality in general, like. We are both super active and like we have so much energy. I don't think we could ever really do an office job just for that reason. Freak out. But I like making these like cooking videos because I really like to help people and I like to, I want people to be healthier and that's something I really care about. So yeah, you just got to think about your personality type and like what you're passionate about. I'm a server. It's not like my lifelong goal right now, but I like to be running around and I like to be busy. So that's why I think I like it. Yeah. And you're a night owl. I'm a night owl and I like to throw a party. I like to make sure people are having a good time. Like mm -hmm. even when I throw parties at my own house, like, I don't know, I like to host. So that's kind of like what I'm doing, but by no means am I going to be doing this for the rest of my life. And that's totally fine too. Like if you don't know what, you know, the long run is going to be, what's something that's going to make you happy right now? Well, and like, that's why we chose dance because we're not gonna be able to do this forever. So might yeah. as well do it all you can. Yeah. Our bodies are going to disintegrate disintegrate <laughs> it already is we just we put so much pressure on people to be like what do you want to do with your life what's your five-year plan and it's like can people like stop asking that question yeah that is the most stressful question <laughs> people still ask me that and i'm like i don't know i bet both have its pros and cons like sometimes i'm like wow i really wish i did have like a plan like a career that'd be like in two years i'll get promoted and <laughs> but would i really be happy i don't think so i like but I would feel stable, stable. Yeah. So it's like, if that's something that's more important to you or is having your freedom more important to you. Right. I'm like I'm so full. I don't know if we, I feel like I still have so much more I could talk about with this topic. Cause I remember being a senior and being so stressed out, not knowing what the hell I wanted to do. Yeah. I hope we help. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed our advice and you liked it, make sure you give this video. A big thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what career advice you have for someone. If they're struggling to figure out what they want to do with their lives, maybe what helped you, or maybe you're someone struggling and you want just to like start a conversation with somebody. I feel like something you have to keep in mind though is nobody really knows what the hell they're doing. Yeah. Like nobody has it 100% figured nobody out. Nobody has it down. So like you're not alone. Yeah. And when somebody asks you, oh, what are you going to do next year? I'd be like, you know what? I don't know, Bob. Just <laughs> somebody commented on our Domino's mukbang that was like because I had said something about how vlogging was in a hard career mm. And a couple people gave me like for it and I wrote a comment like my first one was like hey I'm sorry I didn't really mean that in an offensive way like, whatever and then someone wrote it again And I was about to be like because they were like oh well sitting down and eating isn't a really hard career either 
And I went to be like, girl, I'm a professional dancer. I'm also a bottle waitress. I also have my own personal channel. I also have a Facebook show. I also, and then I was like, I have too much going on. Because I was like <laughs> writing all these things down. And then I was like, oh my God, I don't have my life figured out. And then I didn't write the comment because I was just over it. Over it. <laughs> and then I like saw that comment that this girl had posted about like the career. And I was just like, wow, like. I almost was like, can I even give advice on this? Like, what am I doing? I have like 400 things that I want to be doing. Yeah. Or people be like, what do you want to do in the future after dance? And I'm like, oh, I either want to be on a sitcom or I want to be a travel vlogger. Like, I don't know. Like, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to not know. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna, gonna work all work out. out. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fine. Don't yeah. stress. The only thing you should not be doing is just like sitting in a basement hiding from all of it. You know what I mean? That's like the only bad thing I feel like you can do. As long as you're going out and trying things and exploring you'll fall into the right thing. Yeah. The universe has a way of helping you out. Also, I don't think we said this, but you just have to also get online and do your research. Like, I spent hours searching dance colleges. And oh my God, so many hours. Try to find people that go to that school. Look at, like, like for me, I would find people and go look at their like dance reels or like go look at their pictures and be like, are they good dancers? Like, do they know right. what's happening? I'm, I'm sure that that can cross over into other career fields. Like, yeah. you know, do people who are going to school for engineering, are they building right now like look yeah. up like the, the what are they called alumni yeah they're like um grad success rates yeah I can't think of the name but like what they're doing after college yeah. you gotta do your research uh think about what you want to do you happy and what's gonna make you happy all right well we love you guys um we will see you on Monday not Friday sorry about it should we say bye e. okay <laughs>